tell you, I like my job. <laughs> Tonight I really like my job. It's, I've um, got a good job. So that was an older song of mine. This is brand new. Up, 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 points the spire of the steeple. But God's work isn't done by God. And up, 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 points the fingers of the trees. And the lumberjacks with their bloody axes are on their knees. And just when you think that you've got enough, enough growth, oh, 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 and everywhere that you go in life, enough knows. And up, 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 Dances the steam from the sewer As she rounds the corner A brutal wind blows right through her And up, 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 up Raises the stakes of the game Each day sinks its boot print into her clay And she's not the same And just when you think that you've got enough Enough growth She's learning the spaces she leaves Have their own things to say And she's trying to sing just enough So that the air around her moves And make music like mercy that gives what it is And has nothing to prove And she crawls out on a limb And begins to build her home And it's enough just to look around and know that she's not alone Up, 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 up Points the spire of the steeple But God's work isn't done by God It's done by people and, um, it's a uh, I have a little story to tell. There's been so much talk of Texas tonight. <laughs> there should be like some kind of subtitle theme, Texas. Um, but um, as, as we know it, I'm not from Texas, but I hang out there an inordinate amount of time. And um, the first time that I went there, I fell in with this crazy crowd who, uh, they were working at the Austin Death Penalty Resource Center. A um, bunch of lefty lawyers who, who would basically try to extend people's lives, who would spend all their time working to stay executions. Um, and uh, and it's a, it was a crazy job, and they were crazy friends to have to, you know, they would, on occasion, they would be at work until midnight waiting for that call from the governor. You know, there would be this sort of chaos when an execution de date was set. There would be weeks of, of, uh, of frantic appeals and, uh, and then the clock would strike midnight and in Texas, the, you know, the call usually doesn't come and everybody would go home. But what I wanted to tell you about was in the office, which doesn't exist anymore because of our wonderful Congress and their um, cutting of the federal funding for these organizations. So the Death Penalty Resource Centers almost in every place that they used to exist do not anymore for lack of money. And the money was never great. These, these were lawyers who would buy pencils and buy paper <laughs> and bring it to the office. 
because they would run out. And um, in the office, there was artwork everywhere, artwork of uh, clients. And there were, there were like pictures and there were, you know, those like cat's eye things with, uh, you know, two popsicle sticks <laughs> and yarn and, and um, these guys on death row. A lot of the artists were no longer living, but um, they, I just thought it was amazing the beauty that, some, that can issue forth from somebody who has shown kindness maybe for the first time in their lives. And they were, um, a lot of the lawyers and the people um, who died along the way became friends and it was a crazy, crazy place. But um, I'm just gonna play one more little tune and then uh, go away and there's gonna be, well, you just have to guess. Oh no, no, it's, I'm telling you what, I'm gonna make way for something.